everyone, happy new year and I'm so excited to be filming this video because it is the first video of the year. Um, this is going to be the first video I'm uploading and the first video that I'm recording this year but I did have some pre-recorded videos that you will see later on. Crap, sorry guys, my freaking eye is crying right now. I don't, I don't know why I have become so sensitive to makeup. That now anytime I do my eye makeup, I just, sometimes I just start crying. So anyway, that was, uh, I feel like I should do that intro all over again. I am telling you guys and I'm telling myself that this year I'm going to upload no matter what. Even if I, if I have to pre-record, um, it doesn't matter what happens, I am going to upload at least once a week. I might do... Um, twice a week but it depends on the direction that this channel takes. I kind of wanted to do one beauty video and then one talk video but I feel like I'm not that creative to come up with a tutorial every week so we might just do like one week out of the month I have two videos and that way I can have five videos a month which really doesn't seem like a lot, but we're going to play it by ear and I am just going to commit to one video a week. Today's video is going to be my 2015 favorites. Um, I don't do a lot of these favorite videos just because I feel like I'm always using the same products, but I feel like I have a good amount of favorites that it's not like overwhelming, but it's like a good amount to make a video on it. It'll probably be long just because I love to talk. But yeah, let's get started and my eyes freaking, oh, it's crying again. It's so annoying because that's like one of the reasons why I don't wear mascara very often. And today I'm wearing this amazing mascara, but I'm pretty sure it's not waterproof. And it's just going to kill my highlighter if I keep touching my eye. The first thing that I want to say is my favorite of 2015 is uh, my hair. I feel, I'm going to do a whole blog post about this, but I just feel so um, new and fresh and I just feel like another person, you know? I have new hair and I feel like I cut off all that negativity out of my life, you know, just like when you get a haircut, you just feel like a whole new person. Um, so that's how I feel right now. Is my new favorite. Um, I've had this haircut for about like three weeks now so it's not like I did it in 2016 but I did do it for like you know 2016's sake let's say um, and also for my sake because as some of you may know I just had a baby and she just started grabbing things and one of her favorite things to grab was my hair and so I would have like I'd wake up with like knots in the back of my head like really really bad knots where like I couldn't even shampoo them out like and I was pulling like a handful of hair like out of my hair because of those knots so I was just like I'm just gonna get a haircut and I didn't want to go with like a mom haircut I feel like this is a very cute haircut um I've been like debating whether to get a lob a long bob but I feel like this is a little bit too short to be considered a lob when I first cut it, the hairstylist cut it a little bit longer, and I think then she went a little bit crazy with the scissors, but I feel like it's okay because it, it grows. Hair is not like a huge deal, and if anything, I could just throw on my extensions, um, so it's not a really huge deal. I do kind of like that it looks a little bit darker because I cut off a lot of the blonde that I had from before not blonde but like the lighter color that was blonde before so I feel like now it's just one more uniform color and now it's just definitely easier to style um obviously if I don't do anything to it it looks a little crazy but I'm for for the most part I'm a very low maintenance gal when it comes to hair so I'm just enjoying the short hair okay so now into a makeup favorites I realized that a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be mentioning I got kind of towards the end of the year because I kind of did a lot of shopping like from November from like Black Friday no from like November because a lot of stores had um, a lot of good sales and stuff. So from like November to December, I kind of just did a lot of shopping overall. Um, and so I think a lot of my favorites, and then, you know, I had a baby, so it was like after August that I really started wearing makeup again, because let's be honest, throughout my pregnancy, I was kind of like 
not wearing makeup except for when I did videos. So I wasn't really like that much into buying makeup. I did buy a lot of makeup though, actually. I bought a lot of makeup and now I'm thinking about a product that I really want to mention and I didn't, I didn't grab it. So... So like I mentioned, a lot of the products were purchased later in the year, but by no means does that change the way I feel about them. I genuinely love these products and yeah, I mean there are tons I want to mention, but I'm going to keep it to uh, a minimum, I think. I'm going to try it. So the first thing that we are going to start with is moisturizer and primers because that's kind of something that go hand in hand, not hand in hand, but just something that's like skin prep. So, so my favorite moisturizer of all time, and it took me a little bit to find it because I would try a moisturizer and for the most part I like moisturizers. So I would just, um, in my Ipsy bags I would receive a lot of samples and so I would just try and try and try moisturizer after moisturizer. Um, but then I stumbled upon a little sample of a philosophy miracle worker sam um sample yeah it's a sample um and i really loved the way it felt on my skin it was i have oily skin so it just was really creamy but it wasn't oily and it was thick but it wasn't like pasty i, I don't know it just felt like the perfect moisturizer for my skin and although i do love a I want to say it's a Clinique one. It's really, really expensive. So I was like trying to find a more affordable alternative. Moisturizers overall, I feel like, are very expensive. So I was like looking for that moisturizer for a really long time. I was running out, so I was like, oh my gosh, I have to find it soon. And then I went to Sephora and the big bottle was $60 and I was just like I don't know like I really like the moisturizer but can't like doesn't a drugstore one work just as well and I just couldn't stop thinking about the moisturizer and I felt like that was really important for my skin um you know just for it to stay healthy and I felt like the you know the philosophy moisturizer did that for me so then I went to Ulta one day I was like Christmas shopping legit like three days before Christmas I think and I found the moisturizer but in like a smaller bottle so the bigger bottle I think is um okay this one is why don't you say okay it's um 0.5 fluid ounces and I think the regular one is either 1 or 1.7 like it's something like that so this one was half the price or it was like $28 or whatever, so it's, you know, it's kind of on the pricier side, but I felt like that was okay, because the clean one is like $130, and I'm like, I just, you know, I just can't, I could do, I could buy so much makeup with that, so I just couldn't, and this is what it looks like, it's, um, it's like really creamy, it's, it goes on invisible onto the skin, it's just my favorite, favorite, favorite moisturizer, and I, yeah, I just bought this bottle like recently but I've been using it probably since before um probably like since before August and so I feel like this is going to be my favorite moisturizer forever because I just love it so much I don't think it has SPF no it's just a miraculous anti-aging moisturizer um so it doesn't have SPF but I did also buy the philosophy SPF 50 I think so if I ever need SPF I just throw that under this um, So that's my favorite moisturizer. Okay, so for um, a primer on the skin I have been using the Urban Decay uh, Poreless primer, but I don't know if I like absolutely love it enough to include it into my 2015 favorites, but I have been using every time I've used the YSL um, Touche Eclat Blur Primer. I just love the way my foundation looks. It doesn't matter what foundation I'm using. Um, I got this as a little sample from Influencer, and at first I didn't really like like it because I felt like it was too greasy. Like I liked it because of how it made my skin look with the foundation, but then I felt like it was too greasy. But it has these little cute particles in it, not cute. I'm sure they do something else that look cute, but it has these little particles, and they look like glitters, but they just don't show, and everything looks really amazing with this. So I used it a lot in 2015, and I love it. So that's my favorite, like, 
primer primer and then I have also been loving my Nivea men post shave balm I know everyone has been using this lately I was gonna do a first impression but then I just couldn't wait to use it so I've just been using it and I actually used it today I don't know why I primed my skin if I'm literally gonna go take all this makeup off in like 30 minutes but I did and it just makes my skin feel so so good and it makes the makeup really stick so I have been loving this lately Another item that is related to like skin prep is um, a makeup setting spray which you can use before or after. A lot of people um, use it before and after. So I use this before I apply my foundation and then after but mostly just before and this is the D Slake setting spray and this one is the oil control one. Okay, I'm really oily so I have to use oil control everything. Instead of picking up all nighter, because I really don't need my makeup to stay on for hours when I do wear it, um, I just decided to pick up oil, the oil control one which is D Slick and it works really well. I love it. I also love dampening my beauty blender with this. Um, it's just, it's, for me, I just, I feel like it works. I've had all nighter before and I don't really think it's like, wow. So I just bought D Slick. Okay, I guess I'm gonna talk about products that I use like before the actual makeup. So I cannot um, not mention these in this video. These are the Full Lips Enhancers um, in large and medium. So I love these things because they just make my lips look so plump and gorgeous. And you don't have to get injections, you don't have to do anything, but literally just suck a little bit with these and that's it. Okay, another product that I feel like I heard about forever, it's been years since I've heard about this product, and I just like never wanted to give in. Not that I didn't want to give in, I just was like, no, I'm fine, like I'm fine without it, I don't need it in my life. I was like, I'm living happy without it. And then I signed up for Birchbox and it was like, a lucky month that I was like, oh, if you sign up for Birchbox, you get a free beauty blender. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna sign up for Birchbox and get a free beauty blender. And so here's my beauty blender now. <laughs> I don't know what I've been doing without this. It's like, more than anything, I don't really use this for foundation to be honest because I do feel like I love, or I have some really good foundation brushes. So I'm like, I don't know, I, I've tried, I promise I've tried. It just doesn't work for me for foundation, but it works wonders for concealer. And that's that may be another thing that before in the past I didn't always wear concealer, but now I do because uh, mommies don't sleep, so we get under bags. And I just feel like, look, look down here, there's nothing. And that's just because I have been using good concealers and the Beauty Blender and it's just, it's been working. For makeup brushes, um, I have a lot of brushes. So, okay, I wanna, I do wanna mention Real Techniques because for a long time, uh, for a few months, I used a lot of Real Techniques and then, cause I don't know, I, I like literally had just discovered them too. I love this brush, this is the buffing brush for foundation. Not all foundations work good with this, but I feel like this works really well with a lot of foundations. Okay, and then this other brush is the Deluxe Crease Brush, and I just love this for blending. Like, I used this once, and I was like, where has this brush been all my life? And so I just used that for here, and you know, I just, I love it. Um, I think it's such a good brush. I mean, it would probably work better for me if I had bigger eyelids, but it works fine. I feel like it would work fine for anyone. It just, it's really good. So these are like my favorite brushes of the year, like for sure, for sure. The first brush is the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush and I had to get this brush after I saw Kathleen Lights use it for like so many times. She just said she really liked this brush and so since I don't have very defined cheekbones, I always kind of need something that will like, you know, that will kind of like make a line but not too harsh because I don't really like the harshness either. Like I like a very light natural contour and so I was like I'm gonna get this brush and then I was like I don't know how to work it I was like I'm really struggling and then I don't know today I just kind of figured it out <laughs> I like recently got this brush but I really love it so I'm gonna talk about it anyway this is the Morphe M439 and Jaclyn Hill 
Jacqueline Hill is queen, so whatever she says, I will do. Jacqueline Hill said this was her favorite foundation brush. So she said she preferred it over the Beauty Blender, and that's kind of what I'm always looking for in a brush, for it to be better than a Beauty Blender. So I was like, okay, mama, I will get the brush if you say so. So I went ahead and I ordered a couple of Morphe brushes. I have a lot more, but I'm not going to include them in this video because I just have not used them because I was going to record a haul and then I didn't. But anyway, um, I have used this brush enough times and with enough foundations to know that I love it. I love it more than my Sigma ones, which is kind of hard to believe because I really love those. But yeah, I love this brush. I applied this like really awful foundation on today. Because I was like, I'm going to try it. I want to I wanna like it. Which is the... It might be fine, but I just like don't like it. Which is the Revlon um, Photo Ready Insta Fix. This brush has been a favorite forever. I feel like I've been using this brush for years. But definitely this year a lot. And this is the Sedona Lace FB05. Um, I think this is like the, specifically a contour brush it might be a blush brush no I don't think it's a blush brush it's like a contour brush and that's exactly what I use it for for bronzer and just like oh, it's such a good brush it's just such a good brush guys now for eye brushes um I have a lot of eye brushes but I'm going to give a shout out to these five and very surprisingly like three or sigma which a couple of, you know, like a year ago, I wouldn't have said that. I, not that I like hate Sigma or anything, just like I bought a really expensive set from theirs, like when they first started and then it broke on me. It was the Miss Bunny, the blue set. It's like adorable. It's a blue and pink set or whatever. But after a couple of washes, those brushes like all broke. Like the sticks, like the handles, everything just broke off. I was pretty much terrified and I decided not to buy from Sigma again and then I don't know why this year I think they had a lot of sales and I was like okay I'll try you I'll try you Sigma and so I bought some brushes so these two are my absolute favorite ColourPop ultra matte lips the next lip products I have is another um, liquid lipstick and this is Faded by Lime Crime I have two lipsticks and the first one is the Urban Decay Ultra Matte Lip in the color um, Back Talk, and it is again a really beautiful mauve color, pink mauve. Really beautiful. I originally wanted 1993, but it sold out. I just couldn't get it. That's my birth year, that's why I wanted it. But I just really also like Back Talk, so I got Back Talk instead. And let's talk about this black packaging. It's just so pretty. Like, look at that. And then another favorite lipstick of mine is the YSL. Um, this is the Rouge Pour Couture, and it's 09. And um, I love I love the packaging of this lipstick. It's so um, fancy, and I just love the color itself. The formula is really, really, really great. It's so creamy. I love creamy lipsticks, so I love this YSL lipstick. Um, I have two nail polishes, and then I'm going to talk about palettes. So, um, I have this nail polish. It's from Marilyn Monroe Spas. And not so much the color. I do love the color, but I feel like the formula is really, really great on these. Um, and I feel like they're very underrated because it's like a, not so much a local spa, but I feel like it's a spa that hasn't gotten its recognition yet. And But I really love the nail polish, so I did want to mention it. I have found that this is the best nail polish to do like an at-home manicure because the formula just makes it dry really quickly and that helps me because I always mess up my nail. I mean, I went to the nail salon today and I fucked up my nail and I felt so bad telling the lady to fix it. I was like, I'm so sorry. And then another um, nail polish that not so much the color again, but just like the entire, every nail polish from Urban Outfitters that I've tried and I'm actually wearing two Urban Outfitter um, nail polishes. One of my my ring finger, ring finger, this is my ring finger, yeah, on my ring finger, um, I'm wearing this gorgeous, like, color, it's like a clear with white particles, it's not, like, it's not sprinkles or, like, uh, glitters, um, it just looks like snow on your nails, I'm sure you can tell, I love this color so much, and then I'm also wearing, like, a burgundy red from them, the one that I have 
on me right now is this one which is called Babe. I didn't know they had names, so that's awesome because I thought they were just like nameless. But this one's called Babe, and I just really, really, really love Urban Outfitters nail polishes. Like, they're so good. They're $5, and at the store you can get them for sometimes for two, four, eight, so they come up to $4. I've been using Dip Brow again, the Anastasia uh, Dip Brow pom Pomade. Um, and I'm using soft brown, but I feel like I need, I used it today, I feel like I need a slightly um, darker color, but I'm not sure if I'll find it. I actually, my dip brow dried up, and so this year Anastasia like reposted a video on how to fix it, and I did it and it worked, and I was like, oh my god, I can use it again, so I've been using it. So I'm also going to mention really quickly my Naked 2 Basics palette. I was like so diehard fan for the first one like I was like I don't need the second one because I already got three of the first like legit okay you guys legit I own three of the first Naked Basics palette um, but then I was like okay I really want to try the second one so I bought it and I love it I haven't hit pan on it it's not like a necessity like the other one like I really 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 love the first one and I actually I think the last one I bought, I hit pan on a couple, so I might buy it again, but I just really, really love the neutrality, and this one's a, lot, a little bit cooler, everybody knows that, but I just, I think I love this one, I don't know. Okay, now we're going to talk about palettes. So, really quick, I wanted to mention the Gwen Stefani palette because I am wearing it on my eyes today. I've had this for like a month or two, or a month, I don't know. Um... But I want to say that I don't love it enough to include it in this video. I wanted to mention it, but I wanted to mention it because I feel like I don't love this palette as much as I thought I was going to. And so for that reason, it is just not, it just does not belong in this video. But I really thought I was going to, at the end of the year, love this product so much. However, these two palettes that I'm going to mention actually... So I'm going to mention it, but I'm not going to show it because it's like stored away. So the first palette is the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loco Remix palette. I have, I'll include a picture of it right here because I just, I want you guys to see it. It's the color wheel of beautiful magic, okay? That is that palette. And the shadow quality is so good. I had, that was my first Kat Von D product to buy. And I was literally so impressed. I was like, I need every palette she has ever made. These shadows are so, so well made. And they're so good. And they're so matte. And they're so pigmented. And basically, I just ended up really loving it. Another palette that's really old that I just got recently when I did the Black Friday buys and everything is the Lime Crime Venus palette this palette they just came out with the second one but I was like I think I would like the first one more so I bought the first one and oh my gosh these I've tried Lime Crime shadows in their like little quads but no this palette just blows it out of the water these colors are gorgeous and then the second palette which I'm like <laughs> so obsessed with and it's it's just no surprise that I love a Too Faced product because it's just like that's me it's in my nature actually I really really thought I was gonna include or that I was gonna love to death the Vegas Snay Too Faced palette but I, I used it like once and that was it I've, I've yet to touch it that might have been because I was moving don't hate on it I, I still like it there a lot but I just the chocolate bonbons palette I know my leg is like blowing it out a little bit Oh my god, this palette. I dreamed about it. Maybe that's why maybe that's why I just love it so much. But I dreamed about it for so long until I got until I got my hands on it. I would literally bother my boyfriend and be like, you're gonna get me the palette, right? You're gonna get me the palette. I'm gonna get that palette. I can get the palette, right? Um, and I just like I would tell him, Oh my god, it came out, it already sold out. And um, yeah, I was kind of crazy, but this is what it looks like. It's beautiful in every way possible. Um, it is everything my heart has wanted. Another palette, which is a contour palette, is the Coco Contour by Too Faced. And it looks like this, and it brings this little brush, which I also use today. It fits perfectly under my eyes. It's such a beautiful brush. Um, and this is just, oh, whoa, I almost, oh, I almost dropped the Bonbons palette again. This contour kit was calling my name for so long. 
Kathleen Knights uses it. She's like the only person I've seen really use it. But I just love this contour kit. I'm not sure when it came out or how I missed the memo or what what was the deal with it, but I ended up getting it recently. I had bought the Anastasia contour kit and I just didn't like it. I tried to love it. I just, it didn't work for me. Um, I originally got that one because it's six colors for 40 as opposed to four for 40, but this one brings a brush and I just love these colors a lot more. Uh, I love Too Faced bronzers. Um, I guess I should like quickly mention my Chocolate Soleil. This is just a little sample I have, but I do have the bigger one. I don't know where it is right now, but <sighs> my favorite bronzer of all time. I don't think I'm ever going to use another bronzer that is not that one. It's just perfection. But anyway, I love the Coco Contour Bronzing Palette. So as far as ColourPop goes, I tried everything this year except the highlighters. And I just loved, 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 loved everything. The cream liners were amazing. I have a bunch. I don't want to show everything I have because it's really like a lot. Um, I do want to give a shout out to Beeper. No, this is not Beeper. This is Piggy Bank. Piggy Bank is a really, really purple liner. It's just crazy pigmented. It's beautiful. I used it in a tutorial. I also want to give a shout out to Swerve, which is the black. I'm not going to show it because it's just black. These are super creamy. And then I also want to give a shout out to the to swerve but in the pot liner it is so good and these are only mm, five or six dollars i think the liners are five and then the pots are six these are so good you guys i really love the freshman forever collection it's just such a good good mix of shadows i really wore these out um since i got them and then i really also love the eyeshadow collection um which is blitz i actually gave my original one away to a family member so i bought another one that's how much i loved it because i was just like i cannot live without it in my life and i need it these shadows are gorgeous this is a brand this is my brand new set that i I haven't used since I got it but I just I love these shadows and then I have a bunch of single shadows so Colourpop um was definitely the one brand which I bought from I think every month every month I mean they came up with a lot of stuff um and I just bought everything I thought I really needed really really did fall in love with Colourpop this year I show that company so much love I support them so much they make amazing products for really affordable prices their liquid lipsticks could be better but for six dollars I really like I can't complain those are my favorite products of 2015 let me know yours and I will see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful year and that we get to see each other a lot more. Um, please comment below your favorites. I want to interact with you guys a lot more. I'm going to be posting every week. So thank you for coming onto my channel and subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And we are going to have so much fun this year. I'm going to make a lot of videos for you guys. All right, guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also don't forget to check out my blog. Bye, beauties. I will see you in my next video. Mwah.